What's up guys, welcome back to Dead Island 2, which is by far, because we only got 23 of 24 done, the final episode! Woo! Final episode of Dead Island 2. Now, I'm not sure how long this will be, but I got 23 of the 24 quests done. So, I'm going to be continuing the game, no matter how long I have to record, until I beat this last little section. At least I assume it's the last section. The last section. But yeah, as always, if you guys haven't seen the previous episodes, or you missed the or you missed the episode or two, be sure to click the info card on the top right corner of the video. It'll, it'll be link you to the previous video as well as the playlist in case you missed any episodes. So be sure to go watch that. And I'll say this at the beginning, but I'll probably also say it at the end. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below and comment if you have any games in mind that that you'd like me to play. I have some games in mind already. But I'd also like some comments from you guys. So that I have more games to play in the future, whether they're short or long. Be sure to also subscribe and click the bell notification icon so that next time I upload a video, you'll be notified. And now, let's finally get into the video. Get into the game. Close. So if you didn't see last time, Zenbi is uh He's going to He's kinda of getting a fever, so I think he might end up starting to die. <laughs> Tisha's trail of, well, angry teen violence leads down the boulevard. <laughs> yeah, this will likely, um, well I say likely, but this is going to be the last episode. Regardless of uh, whether or not I have to record for like a good few hours. I don't want to look too hard though. Because otherwise I'm going to get far too distracted and not be able to finish it in one video like I promised. I think it goes down the boulevard. Probably it's going to go in here. Yep, look at that. Into the shopping mall. Where were you headed, Ruben? <laughs> okay. Come on, come on, you bitch. Come on, you bitch. Tisha laid down cover while oh, Reuben made a way in. This was pushed over on purpose. Okay, um. No one expected. Oh. Head stomping. Watch. Oh, not dead all. The, the, the munchies. Do something? I do. I'm not sure what I did. I'm assuming after going through here. Yep. Lotusville? Re aging. Hear me? This is Hannah. Uh, what? Did oh. Dr. Reed come here to get some extra wrinkles? Alright, I equipped some extra stuff. 
This jar of cream, it's a joke, right? <gasps> Whole places, just so. Names, IDs, visiting times. And there's our Dr. Reuben Reed. Hopefully he increases the side quests and I do not care. No cigar. Interest the switch here. Click the switch. A secret door. Yeah. Yeah, I modified my weapons and stuff and other things like that, so let's go. I've tracked you down, Reed. I found your hidey hole. And I'm done being nice. Eyes are what to be. Is that a bad sign? There's a whole lot of med kits. And that worries me. It very much worries me. Hey! Remember me? You monster! Wait! You don't understand! Yes! I'm not a fucking zombie! What are you then? I don't know! But you do, don't you? You started the outbreak! Dad? What did you do? I... I... What did you do? I killed millions to save billions! Why did oh, you good. infect the city? Because you were so rare! Only one in a million becomes a new one, an autophage hybrid. I couldn't complete the cure without you. The cure's worse than the disease. No. No. Oh, no. The autophage isn't an illness. All right. 25 years ago, I, I found a clock hidden in our DNA, counting down to the day of our extinction. When the clock hits zero, the autophage will erupt in every man, woman, and child on Earth. I, I had to stop it. It's inside everyone? <sighs> yeah, we weren't built to last. Fair enough it is. Take that. Conrad thinks the autophage exists to clean the Newman, but your anomaly's the best. Puppets are worst. We're joined in our minds. Joined by what? What does it want? Either Lola is blind to it or she. I, I can only spare a few drops, but it'll neutralize the autophage, make you human again. All right? Now just go! I can't hold on much longer! No! Use it on yourself! Sweetheart. Sweetheart. You don't know what else I did. I modified an unborn baby. With a new one blood, she becomes the cure. <laughs> to be harvested every day for the rest of her life. Ooh, damn. I mean, I've, I've taken everything from you. I, ah! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, ah! Get, get her out. Get her out of LA. There's nothing we can do. We've got to go. Don't touch me. She gonna die. Or or something. Run! Let's go! I just think punching it would work. Find a boss fight? Run! Run as fast as you can! Reap the whirlwind, Dr. Reed! Yeah. 
can you so easily? Okay. That's my plate busted. Oh, damn. You're hitting me. I think there's a super annoying. Maybe the enemy back here. Not do anything. Damn, man, kids. Fire does not want to do. Fish on the out next time. Zombies and him are a tad on the annoying side, to say the least. Oh, 
Oh, you fucking hit me. That's my plate busted. Who's the time to end swing? Alright. Oh. There's one on both. There's one on both. I have a plan to see. Oh, that's Right. I can do stuff too, you know. Getting quite dangerous. Ow. Ow. That might be guys. Pressing the amp. This seems like my thing. You are my best friend. Okay, that's my plate busted. Okay, ow. Not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do. Don't mm -hmm. laugh. Okay, long range isn't an option, but at the same time, I need to carry these zombies. Reap the whirlwind, Dr. Reed. I hit fire, that's not good. My plate busted. Oh 
You are so issue. Okay, ow. That was a mistake. 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 Six and eight, six and eight, six and eight. No. Oh, stop it. Come on, fire up in there. Your playbook's looking thin, Reed. No, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. No. Oh, Stick right out. Okay, we did it. We did it. Whoop, whoop. Oh yeah. Come on, Ames. Wakey, wakey. Breaking forward to wait a little bit. I do want to look around a. I was gonna say I was gonna look around a small bit, but apparently I don't have time for that. Alright, what weapons do I have? I can just scrap you guys. There's strong weapon with me already. Hi. Hi. Alright, let's go. Oh man. This place is dying. Oh wait, Tisha. Where's Tisha? Tisha knows she has to escape. Boom, bitch! She'll head back to the chopper. I'm pressing the wrong button. Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright, quickly go. Stay down. These guys are so weak. I don't mind if that was a final play. Move it, people! This is not a drill! No. Fuck you. Oh, made it. Now, back to the chopper. Oh. Come on, Ames. Let's Last go. sprint of the marathon. I'm not that tired. It's been a long week, and I'm done with being civil. Don't kill anyone. Let's just go. I think probably should have created some more medkits. I only have two. Let's hope there's no final fight, because I'm go. not going to have any medkits. Let's get... Look at this. Something probably happened to Sam when I was gone. Is Tisha here? Oh. Who? Oh, shit. I hope she'd be here. Oh, I haven't seen anyone. The doctor? Paid the price. Oh, crap. I'm sure you can go out Goodbye. Anymore. Again? Wait! It's what I deserve. No. No one deserves this. I've got a one-shot cure. It was meant for me, but... We've all got to change. You can too. You can still save Sam, hopefully. Oh, die, Sam. Not his head, you idiot. Uh, yeah. Muscle memory. Zombies? Let's go for the head. You see, I'll always come back for you. Uh, Sandy, isn't it gonna die? I'm starving. Got any of that pastrami? It's perfect. A Hollywood ending. Hey. We gotta get going. I'm staying. 
cure's out there. And she won't last long without help. Here. Go save the world. <laughs> Count on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We won't waste this. You better not. Good luck. luck. Let's do this. I suppose. Hopefully that wasn't the last time I get naked, because I only have two and I do not feel comfortable fighting a boss fight with only two. Please don't blow up or something. Just take it. And it's done. Oh. And boom. Cadenza? This song is incoherent. Decided to stay with us? Yes. To find t shirt. That's the only reason. Probably. God, man, this is so watery today. Jesus Christ. Is this the ending? That was a bit of an abrupt one. I guess it is. In a sense, I suppose it's some form of closure. Not as much of a closure as the previous games, but... It's closure nonetheless. I mean, what happens to Tisha? Do they save the world? Does she die? That's the question. There's certainly a few questions that go unanswered, so hopefully there's going to be some new game like with Dead Island 2, a new game that follows Amy, or whoever, or in this case Zayn, or whoever character you chose, kind of thing. And hope and follow their story further, or some kind of DLC for the game, or something like that, at least something to try and clear up the story, because there's still quite a few elements that, like, haven't really fully been explained, um... Not all ties are put together, you know, stuff like that. The puzzle pieces aren't fully in place, I feel like, as to everyone's fate. So I feel like that would be useful for like another game or something like that. And I'm probably gonna put some music in front of this because currently I'm not hearing any music because I kind of burned off the music so I could actually edit in my own music kind of thing. So yeah, it's probably not gonna be any music for me, but hopefully I'll probably put on some celebratory music or some epic music or something like that so something like that anyway i'm not really sure but yeah probably won't do too much editing in this one i might edit edit out um some of the longer parts of the boss fight maybe or maybe nothing at all i don't know luckily i'm probably gonna cut it cut out at least some of the um deaths at least some of the deaths that are that i died a lot quicker too and the ones that i didn't really make much progress on but overall, that's I'm not going to do as much editing as I probably normally do with cutting stuff out, like with the previous episode. Which one fact, they cut out about 20 minutes of footage. Or footage. Originally, had about 50 minutes that was recorded. So, and I recorded, as you can tell from the video, previous video, I recorded about 30 minutes um, for the actual video itself. So I cut about 20 minutes of footage, which is pretty a lot for me, because I don't usually cut out that much footage. As you can probably tell by most of my other videos, not to include the streams. Yeah, I'm kind of just trying to talk over this because there's not too much music for me. It's kind of boring. Just not kind of, just kind of not talk to my, not talk and just kind of let this go go on. I'm kind of just, you know, telling my thoughts. Um, another puzzle piece in place, you know, that kind of stuff that I think they made it deliberately so that there's more to build off of. It's building, like, this is like the building blocks for like a new story. And then like, like with Dead Island 1 and Dead Island Riptide, the previous other games which included continuation of Sambi's story. This is the exit of Sambi and the other characters most likely. Or at least somewhat in maybe some DLC you might get to go through their story 
some closure there or something. I feel like that's a good closure for Sam getting cured and becoming a normal human. Not being like in a zombie immortal anymore. And being able to just kind of get away from what get away from it all kind of thing. Um um, I think her and Emma's story, I think, is probably good, give or take, wrapped up with everything that was hap with everything that was there and stuff like that. Uh, the, it's all kind of, I think, a lot of the new main characters, I think, don't quite have too much clothes, have enough development per se, like with Amy, Teresa, Conrad, and these other like newer characters. I feel like. It can build off of more and the more elements of the story can be added to the to it all into like a new game kind of thing so i think that's kind of just basically all my thoughts on the game it was a great game don't get me wrong just a bit more of an abrupt ending than i would have thought it would include but i'm not complaining it was a great game the bosses were certainly tough at times as you can tell by that final fight where i died quite a few times and some of those sides you probably didn't see because I died very quickly. I certainly didn't need as many weapons as I had. And again, I could have probably grinded, get all the, got all my weapons to the proper level, and made it certainly easier. But as you can tell, with enough skill and with enough force and sort of perseverance, determination, and other stuff like that, most likely than not, you can usually get by. As long as you properly modify your weapons, I have a wide variety of weapons, some that do fast, quick slashes, like with the katana, and then some with like the wrench, where they have a lot of force behind them, which is more akin to when you're fighting bosses, and then obviously having like a gun or two in your inventory ready to be used in case you need some ranged combat, or to properly, a prop, a properly to much more quickly and efficiently kill zombies, especially when they're in sort of boss fights like that where you want to focus on the boss but then the zombies come and then all of a sudden you have to sort of delegate the tasks of should I focus on the zombies, should I focus on the boss, should I do, should I wait and heal, wait for my health to recover, should I use fury, should I not use fury. I think that really helps with having a large, a good variety of weapons like you saw me using. But obviously I, as you can probably tell from my inventory, I was a bit, I'm a big fan of things that allow you to slice and dice in games like this. I'm not a too much of a fan of, bludgeon of bludgeoning weapons, but in terms of games like this where you can definitely feel like the force behind them, it's certainly useful in boss fights, being able to stun them during the attack so they're not constantly attacking you. It's only knocking these back and other things like that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all my thoughts on the video. Um, I might. I was gonna say I might cut out much of this, but it is the credits, so you know, she'll let the credits roll and let you see sort of when I adjust my camera because I don't have too much space here. Um, so that you can actually see like the credits here and sort of who made the game and whose voices and other stuff like that. But yeah, that was Dead Island 2. If you guys enjoyed this game and you want to play it for yourself and you haven't already, or maybe you got a new computer and you no longer have it or something like that and you'd like to play it again i'll leave the link in the game in the description as i've done with every other video so if you want to see those videos so if you want to see the game for yourself and play it for yourself and possibly do some other kind of character because the different dialogue and other stuff like that um the link will be in the description down below no nope. just as a side note though you will likely have to have you will have to have not looking at you will have to have the Epic Games Launcher in order to play it. Trust me, I've looked on Steam. It's not on Steam. Otherwise, I would have gotten on Steam. I, Steam's the one where I you get most of my games from. Now, obviously, indie games and stuff, you also have to look elsewhere from other websites, you know, stuff like that. But for the most part, I get most of my games I play off of Steam. It's just really convenient. I've always kind of used Steam, so I've just most so I'm just used to the UI. You guys might use the Epic Games Launcher more, so, so you might be more used to that launcher and getting stuff off there. Um, those of you who play VR, that's a whole another separate thing that has its own area. You might be more used to that kind of stuff. In terms of VR, though, speaking of VR, though, I am hoping to possibly try out more VR games. Uh, I currently have a clip-on mic 
so that when I do do VR videos, you, you won't have to hear me from a distance, rather how you're hearing me sort of now maybe, or maybe slightly different, because, you know, the mics are totally do two totally different things. So, the way I sound, sound, the way I sound now, the way I sound now would likely sound different than with the clip-on mic than with the current Quadcast S mic that I have currently that you're hearing me talk with, and I do for most of my recent videos. I say most of my recent videos because uh, I had, I don't remember what it was, but I had a different microphone um, before that I just kind of, at first, just kind of had in front of me so I could talk directly into it. But I don't have too much space on my desktop to be able to do that stuff anymore. So having a, a Quadcast S on a boom mic, which was a lot easier. And for most, not only an obvious reason, but main reason why I chose the Quadcast S was due to the fact that it has an RGB mode and it really fits with my setup of having RGB lights everywhere kind of thing. You guys can't obviously really see it, but you can tell my headphones most likely if you can see it. That I do have RGB headphones, I have an RGB PC, a keyboard mat with RGB on it, a RGB mouse, RGB keyboard. You get the point. I'm a big fan of the RGB stuff rather than just being like a very blank, black, blue, white, pink, or whatever kind of color you end up choosing for your PC. So everyone's PC is different, their setup is different, and no judging here. If you have a different variation of your PC setup, that's good for you. As so long as you're comfortable with the setup that you currently have, then that's all your setup. That's what you do. No one, at least not me, I don't judge people for that kind of stuff. Because there are some things, like there's RGB like headphones with like cat ears and stuff like that, and I do know that there are people who enjoy wearing those kinds of headphones. Me personally, I don't usually wear those kinds of headphones simply because I'm more used to these kinds of headphones, wired in, plugged in headphones that have big, sort of bulky ear earphones like this, rather than tiny ones for like listening to music or some kind of tiny headphones like that. And other thing, another kinds of headphones like the cat ears and gamification, which is seeming as being the game. But yeah, um. I'm trying to think of what else is there. There's not really much else I really want to say at this point. It's a great game. Um, next video I will upload where is I think possibly going to be an indie game that I have. Because while I was searching for a couple extra games to buy in my own free time, I did encounter a indie... I suppose it's an indie game, short indie horror game, I'm not sure what it is, um, on Steam. And the screenshot seemed interesting. It's the recording camcorder POV kind of horror game. Be recording off the camera and stuff like that. Um, so I'll probably record that next, see how, and that, I'm assuming it's going to be a bit of a shorter Let's Play, so I'm not going to have like 20 episodes. Or close to 20 episodes, I put that out in two here. Um, but besides that, um, I do also, after that, want to play the uh, Bioshock series, which I did play. Um, Bioshock went into and Minerva, the DLC for Bioshock 2, the Minerva's Den DLC. I have played and beat all of them, but it has been a while, and I do want to play it for the channel, because I did want to play them again. So I'm going to record the video, this series and for the channel and be able to play it in that way. Um, I probably won't play Bioshock Infinite. I never played Bioshock Infinite, and I'm a more big fan of the Rapture location. But most likely, we'll play Bioshock Infinite or the DLC that involves it. That involves being in Rapture. I'm just not a fan of the that specific game. Well, not a fan, but I haven't played that specific game. From what I've seen, and little gameplay and let's plays I've seen in the past, um, I don't think I'd properly enjoy it. And I don't want to play a game that I don't really enjoy um, for the channel and in my free time and stuff like that. I want to play games that I personally enjoy playing, whether they're horror, action, shooter, survival or any other kind of games like that. Uh, not really sure what else to say. At this point, I've kind of talked about a good decent bit of talks in the credits here. Didn't honestly expect the credits to last this long, but it's a big game, so I, I honestly shouldn't be surprised that, they're, that the credit screen is very big like this. But I don't have much else to say. Um, I kinda, if you're wondering what I'm looking over here, you, kinda, you might, might not be able to see my eyes, I'm not really sure. 
I kind of just look at the OBS screen here. I'm more used to just kind of looking at myself in the OBS screen, make sure everything's going right and stuff like that. I'm not used to just looking directly into the camera all the time kind of thing. So if they see me looking here all the time, I kind of just look at myself in OBS and kind of just see me talk. I don't know why I do it. Maybe I'm just that handsome, I just look at myself. I'm just that handsome, even I like myself, you know? Something like that, I don't know. Maybe something to that degree anyway. But yeah, I probably won't do too many edits here besides adding in music and stuff. Because um, I do want you to see the credits and who made the game, because it's a great game. And I would highly suggest you play it if you have enjoyed the dialogue games in the past or enjoy zombie games in general. It's, there, it's definitely a fun series if you wanted to play the original Dead Island 1 and 2. Well, Dead Island 1 and Riptide, including the, the recent Dead Island 2, which is this one. Although I was probably a tad late to the party in terms of recording it, but oh well. Personally, I probably should care more because it's kind of recording for other reasons rather than you no know, recording for recording. I have more reasons for wanting to record it. Um, I probably should get into pl playing games that are more relevant nowadays. But personally, with I don't, personally currently, I don't really have too many video viewers and stuff like that. So personally, I don't have too much to worry about in that end. And once I get more subscribers, I'll probably pay pay a bit more attention to the what people are playing, what people are reacting to, and stuff like that. I might do reaction videos. I might do more VR videos that are more relevant to the current genre, the current meta. Uh, in a sense, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I really did not expect the last one as a slime. I can't run out really of topics here. Um, my voice is kind of running out here. I don't need the cough. I'm trying not to cough on video. Especially during the credits scene. I don't, I don't really be able to cut it out. And I don't really want to hear you. Hear you. I, want you to, I don't really want you guys to hear me coughing into a microphone or something like that. So I'm not really sure. I might just like cough away like this. Like that or something like that. Speaking of that, she might need to cough soon. Um, so please, credits, can you please just finish? I enjoy ha seeing all the credits, but there's a really lot of there's a real there's a real big lot of credits here. Um, I was planning on it being a lot shorter, but I've already recorded over 50 minutes of a bit audio, a video. So, and a really chunk of that it comes from. This credits, which I swear is like 10, 15 minutes of credits. I'm not sure, but it's, it's quite, quite a bit. <laughs> I'm just kind of like trying to talk and talk and talk and talk. I'm not sure if I'm losing my voice or... I'm probably not using my voice, but I'm probably talking way too much and... Probably talking way too fast, but you know... I was born and raised in Newfoundland, so I'm kind of a doofy, so... I don't usually talk... Probably as slowly as what some other people do. Even among my family and friends, stuff like that, there are times where we're just like, Slow down, please. You're talking way too fast and we can't hear a damn word you're saying. Especially when I'm excited. When I'm excited about a game, or may pop up sometimes when I'm nervous. Mainly when I'm talking about some new show, some new anime, some new game, or something like that that I really like. I then just kind of ramble on and on and on. And as I ramble on more and more, I kind of speak faster and faster. Then at some point I'm just speaking like a thousand miles a minute. But they can't really pick out a word I'm saying. They're like, yo, stop talking so fast. You can't hear a damn word you're saying. Well, not exactly in that way, but you kind of get the point. I talk way too fast. And fun well, fact, actually, I do actually have my window open right now. It's in the middle of in clo getting close to winter time. There's snow and stuff getting on the ground. And I have my window open. Which is surprising because usually I'm a very sauna, sauna hot kind of person if you were to be in my room um you'd most likely die of like heat stroke or something like that obviously i'm joking you actually wouldn't that is probably decent if that is a big issue that some people have and if you do are offended by that joke i'm very sorry i formally apologize for that kind of, for that kind of behavior as as a sarcastic comment um but yeah i really like it warm and even my family don't usually enjoy this kind of hot so anytime they enter my room, they're always like, Why is there a sauna in here? Holy shit! Yeah, I don't usually have my window open. At least not in the wintertime and stuff like that. I usually like it really warm. And for... 
a lot of my family members will I consider a decent warm. It can even be slightly Chilean. They will consider me to be like extremely warm kind of thing. Then before I exit out of my room, it's like I have to walk in a sweater, like a thousand layers of clothing just to walk around because it's just so cold everywhere else because my room is just so warm. But yeah, um, I don't, I, I don't have any more topics. I'm trying to think of more topics to try to talk some not just like an, a, a, a very empty silence after waiting for the credits. But I can't really think of anything else, honestly, so I'm not really sure what else to really talk about. I kind of just talked about mainly whatever's on my mind, but I've kind of gotten a lot of what I do want to talk about out of the way. I think this is finally the end of the credits. At least I think so. I'm hoping. Yeah, thanks for playing. So, this is finally the end of the credits, so... Um, if you get, I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this game as much as I did. There were times definitely where I was a tad angry, especially at the end there when there were so many zombies and so much to do. Alright, uh, what's this? Oh, I can just do side quests and other stuff like that. This is okay, so Emma's rat. Holy shnikes, that is a lot of damage. What's... Physical damage boost. Freaking blast. Anyway, well, I could use that, but personally I don't care too much. Also, why is... guy here? Who's Todd? Oh, hey! Not really sure who you are, Todd. Um, but yeah, there are obviously you no know, side quests and stuff like that I could do. But I don't personally care about that, so I'm going to leave this final episode of Dead Island 2 right here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like down below. And be sure to, to while you're also down there, to click the bell notification icon so the next time I upload a video, you'll be notified. And yeah, like, comment, like, subscribe, click the bell notification icon, comment any games you want me to play. Uh, I would love to be able to play any games you guys recommend to me. Um, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely check them out. Um, and if I do end up choosing a game that you guys end up playing, recommending to me, I'll screenshot and upload a name to your, to the screen here, or like, ed a bit like an edit or something like that, or I'll do something to, um, put in the name, the specific comment, the new comment in it, and also be sure to try, try to pronounce the name of whoever commented it. Uh, some people have interesting names, I might botch some of them. He just burped there. Anyway. I burped again. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I think I've kind of said my piece. Um, I'll see you. I'm supposed to see you guys next video. Which I'm assuming will come out this Sunday. But whether or not I have the proper motivation to get my body and mind to actually record a video is a whole different ballgame. It's a whole different story. Yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully Sunday, but whenever I end up getting myself to record another video. Peace.